I have had quite a few questions about the Pixi Retinol Eye Cream. How strong do I think it is? What skin type do I recommend it to? And do I think it can be the cause for dry and red under eyes? Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Dr. Anne. I'm a medical doctor with a passion for skincare that works. On this channel we explore the science behind skin and do quick reviews so you learn to pick exactly those products that work for your individual skin concern. So if this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. The Pixi Retinol Eye Cream is part of the whole Pixi Retinol collection. I have reviewed I think two already and I will review a few of the others and that I admit I was a little disappointed in. This one being one of the exceptions. But let's first hear what Pixi has to say. Formulated to improve elasticity, smooth and protect the delicate skin around the eye area. Super nourishing, this cream restores, renews and helps minimize the look of fine lines, soothing eye cream. Which is not exactly exaggerated claims. The product itself comes in a squeezy tube and I have to admit I really enjoy this kind of syringe-like applicator. What I found though is that the cream itself is pretty firm, so I have to apply quite a lot of pressure for it to come out of the tube. The product itself is yellow. It spreads easily but feels a little richer than an eye serum or an eye gel, which is probably due to the fact that it contains avocado seed oil and chia butter. It does not have a scent and there's no added fragrance inside. Looking at the ingredient list, first and foremost, yes, this does contain retinol, not retinol palmitate, true retinol, but around the middle of the ingredient list, so I don't think that the concentration is really high, which I think is a good thing because you don't want to really put a high concentration of retinoids around your eye area that could lead to inflammation, dryness and irritation. This one contains quite a few soothing ingredients like panthenol and squalane. It also contains a lot of oils that act as emollients and a few occlusives as well as glycerin for hydration. Another thing that I really enjoy is that it contains caffeine, which I like for deep puffing and minimizing the appearance of my dark circles, and two peptides that claim to improve collagen production and firm the skin. Like most other Pixi products, it also does contain a few plant extract like licorice extract or blueberry or Sambucus nigra fruit extract that work as antioxidants and help protect the skin, but that can also be irritating. So to answer the question that I posed in the introduction, I really don't think that this product is very strong in its retinal activity. Of course, if you react with dry and irritated under eyes, it contains too much retinol for you personally. I've been using retinol containing eye creams for a while now. I have used the Institutum anti-wrinkle brightening one, which is similar in terms of ingredients, but about three times the price of this one. So actually price-wise, I would prefer that one. The Institutum one is nicer in texture for me personally, and I feel works a little better. But if you're on a budget, and want a retinol eye cream, this is one that I can really recommend. So if you're over the age of 30 and have a fine lines, I think this is a great eye cream to try due to the fact that it's a little firmer. I would personally apply it in the evenings rather than in the mornings. And of course, as always, if you act with dry and irritated skin to this product, no matter if it's the retinol that's in there or maybe you are allergic to one of the plant extracts, which is not that uncommon, then stop using it. Everyone else, I think it's a great option for an affordable price if you wanted to try incorporating real retinol in your eye area. I'm going to link to my other reviews of the Pixie Retinol collection on the screen now and I'm going to see you all very soon with another video. Bye!